Hi, I'm David and welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're going to be fitting a rear view mirror in our Eldis CV20 camper van. And that's going to allow us to get better visibility out the back window so we can see who's behind. So let's get cracking. So when we got the van, um, it had this, which is a little kind of plastic cover over. Don't worry too much about this and this. Uh, that one's just for where the dash cam attaches to. And that one is uh, just to hang the GoPro on when we do the forward filming. So we're focusing on this, which is uh, what came with it. Worth noting, our van doesn't actually have the automatic wipers um, and the uh, sensor for the lights uh, in this place. So it's just literally a flat um, kind of darkened area with the attachment there for it. So to remove this, you simply twist it round. I'll show you there. quite tight and then that will come off so you can see that just clips off it's got like a little clip on and you're left with what looks like a bolt and you can pick up the mirrors uh, so here's the one I got you can see the um, attachment on the back is similar to the bit that we've just taken off and uh, I picked the mirror up it was about 35 pounds it's a genuine Fiat mirror rather than a replica one so let's now show you how to fit that one on. So there we go. So what you do is you pop it on roughly about there and it's quite a tight, uh, tight fit. But it just basically twists into position and locks in like that. So there we go, that's fitted nice and solid there. And uh, what we can do now is just with this cap, uh, just put it somewhere safe in case we ever want to remove the uh, mirror again. So that's a Fiat Ducato rear view mirror fitted and we can now see out of the back window when we're driving along. Just a reminder, it's a little bit tight, but if you come on as the angle and kind of bring it round, that kind of gets it into position. So there we go. One rear view mirror fitted. We just give that a quick, uh, quick wipe up to remove the sticky paw prints off and we're done. So it takes a couple of minutes to fit. I'd say probably five minutes just to suss it out, uh, but an easy enough fit. And then that gives you much better visibility so you can see what's going on behind you and in the back of your van. So I know what you'll be thinking now. Well, what about the blinds? Let's have a look. So we've got the Remus blinds fitted in here. So we'll just pull the blinds across. I'm in the locking position. Magic look. There's a little bit that stops it from stopping the blinds from closing. So in answer to the question, you can use the blinds, or certainly these blinds, with the rear view mirror fitted. I hope you found this useful, and we certainly have, uh, because it doesn't half give you better visibility behind you. Uh, when you first fit it, it was kind of wow. You can see who's behind through the window. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.